Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with TheCowWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well today we're going to be making this beautiful card right here using the new Twall Christmas bundle which includes the Twall Christmas stamp set, do you not love that cardinal, and the Christmas cardinal dies which has got the cardinal, the branch, extra leaves, extra swirls, it's got dies for the sentiments, love it. Now I will tell you I'm a pro with this card and why? So this is actually a card front. I made 13 of these beautiful cards for a swap. So I'm going to have a little bit bigger border because this is a card front for a swap. So it is five and a quarter by four, but we're going to make an actual full size card. And we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. I'm going to tell you, as always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're going to find measurements back for this card with all the supplies also and you can click right on it and grab your bundle remember when you purchase a bundle you're going to save 10 percent now here is what we're going to do this is thick whisper white cardstock because i'm using blends all right anytime you're using thick you want to make sure or anytime you're using your blends you want to make sure you're using thick Okay, thick whisper white. So all I want to do is just get the pattern of my bird. Okay, so I've got that done. Now, obviously we have two plates, but for the sake of the camera, I'm going to pull this one off, bring my other plate in. When I'm creating, I would have my other plate at the top, and then that would make it, I'm going to pull that over just a smidge. That would make it where I didn't have to switch anything out, which would be nice. So, this is my branch. The important thing here is you always want to keep everything up in the top right-hand corner. I'm not even using the magnet, as you can see. And I've got a stamp case underneath, so when I'm inking, I can really get my ink on there. That looks great. Okay, so for now, we're done with this plate. We are going to come back with our bird, our cardinal. Do you not love cardinals? You know, they tell you that cardinals, when they visit you, are angels from heaven. And you know I love that. So anytime I see a cardinal, I think of my boy. If you want to color and you like to color, but you don't have a lot of experience, this is the most forgiving stamp set and you will get the most gorgeous results. All I'm using is my dark real red, my dark call me clover, my dark mango melody, and my dark soft suede. And this is so simple that I'm not even going to speed this up. I'm using the thick tip. Okay. I want you to see just how simple this really is to color. And we're going to go back and go back over the top of it with the Memento Tuxedo Black again to get that black to really, really, really pop. And you'll see what I mean. Now, you're gonna wanna take just a little bit of time around the edges And I'm just barely, barely touching it. You know, I always say pivot your cardstock. See, I quit talking because I start concentrating. Okay, see how I'm just doing the edges? Now I'm going to take the side of my real red, just the side, and just coloring it in. You see what I mean about how simple? Now, could you get more sophisticated? Absolutely. You could get your light real red if you want a lot more shading. But I want to show you just how simple this is as, as is, I should say. So I've got that done. Now, let's bring in our Mango Melody. Just 
to do my bird's beak. That's just the dark, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and color our branch, and I'm using the dark. I'm going to do the leaves first. This is the Call Me Clover. Once again, you could use the light, get more definition. If you're just doing one card, but if you're doing lots of cards and you want to, you know, be able to give that personal touch, but really get them whipped out, this would be a fabulous alternative. All right. Now, I'm going to use the fine tip because my branches are really fine on this soft suede and I'm starting where it's dark or where it's wider and as it gets narrower I'm dragging towards the where it gets narrower and I'm lifting my stamping blends see there and that it seems to give me more control as I lift my pen it doesn't matter if you go outside the line anyway, because these are homemade ca cards and homemade creations. But that's just a little tip that should help you. It's kind of natural for your hand to lift up. See, and I went out there just a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and make that a little smoother. That's good. Now let's bring our little, going back to my thick, and I just kind of did little tiny circles on all my berries. Just like such. Pretty quick, huh? I'm a pro. I've done enough of them. Okay, coloring is done. Now, let's bring back our Stamparatus and our Cardinal. And here's where the magic happens. Let's get my case back over here. Putting my Cardinal right back in the corner. I'm reapplying ink. going right over the top. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And if I wanted to, I could add just a little more red right here underneath him. Just like that. Isn't it beautiful? You see how that defined it? So the first layer of black was to give me my outline. The second was to make it pop. Now, I will tell you that I have taken the Whisper White for the top of my card. Let me show you that again. And I don't know if the camera is catching it or not, but there's shimmer on it. This is just regular Whisper White. I've embossed with the new Stylish Scrow embossing folder. Okay. I've already got that done. And then I took some of my Frost White Shimmer Paint, shake it up real good, took one of our spritzers, filled it almost to the top with regular 70% rubbing alcohol, put about three good drops of this in here, a BB, and then shake it up really good. And then what you do is, and let me just grab a paper, well, here, we'll just grab a scrap piece of paper here real quick. You can tell I've spread, shared some love on that. I've shaken that up about 12 inches away, and because it's alcohol, it will dry really quick. That's just going to give the whole background some shimmer, okay? All right. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to cut out my cardinal and I'm going to cut out my branch and then my sentiment I chose is tis the season and that is from the itty bitty greetings because I didn't want to take away on the outside and then I also used the one inch circle punch to cut the tis the season out I use the one and one eighth to cut the real red out and then I've got the one and three eight scallop this is the one and one eight scallop this is the one and three eight scallop for that layer so we're just giving the alcohol just a minute to dry so let's just go ahead and put that down on there that will be ready to go I also have an inside sentiment so we could go ahead and get that done let me get that inked up may this season be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold most dear isn't that gorgeous I absolutely love that love it's just so poignant I think build those memories make those memories anytime you can that is for sure all right now I am going to go ahead and cut both of these out and I will be right back okay I am back I have all my elements here so let's go ahead and put this card together My shimmer mist that I created has dried, so it's going to go right here on this basic black. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put that straight down on our real red card base. Might as well go ahead and do our inside. All right, and then here's what I did for my bird and my branch. I took my Tombow multi-purpose adhesive and I just put a little bit down the branch and on the leaves. Just like that, super simple. Hold it on there for just a second, because remember, you've got a textured embossing folder under here. It takes just a second to grab. Same thing with my cardinal. And a little on its feet. I've got it setting right here on this branch. Just come down just a smidge. Held it in place. Grab my sentiment. And a dimensional actually that's the edge of a dimensional because I say don't waste them use them and then it's like the cardinal is looking at the sentiment oh I love the way these turned out so you can see this is a full card base like I said all the measurements will be in the eye and below so that's why it's a, a little different proportion but I absolutely adore the Twall Christmas Bundle with the Cardinal and the Christmas Cardinal dies. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.